welcome, welcome. This is Dave Rogers with Meet the Author. Hello, Anne-Marie. Hi, Dave. It's so nice to, uh, to be with you today. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to learn a little bit about you as an author. Could you tell us a little bit about, about you and why did you write your book? Great question. Yeah. So um, I'm a registered nurse and I've been working in organizational development, corporate training. I've done lots of things publicly because I love to perform. And growing up in high school, I was always told I was not a good writer. So I excelled in math and science. So I went into the, the health field. So being told I wasn't a good writer, I just believed it. Because, you know, these are smart people telling you, you can't do it. So anyway, I started to realize, you know what? I think I am a good writer. <laughs> good. So I went, <laughs> I went back and did another degree in um, adult ed. And I did another degree, uh, graduate school. And I was at the top of the class. And I'm thinking, I'm getting published. I'm getting awards. Maybe I can write, Dave. Fantastic. Maybe it's maybe it was a lie. Mm -hmm. So I, I stepped through the lie into my truth to say, you know what, I am a good writer. Okay. So I just to, to dip my little toe in the author world, I chose to write a children's book. Bravo. So what, what is the your children's book? What is the key theme? And can you maybe share a major takeaway from the book for from your perspective? Yes, for sure. So the book is um, inspired by my granddaughter, Azalea, and Good. her and I have created a magical garden in my backyard. And it's actually, I commissioned an artist to do a big sign that says Azalea's magical garden. We have trails, we have wildflowers. It's this beautiful garden that we've co-created. So we wrote a book called Azalea's Magical Garden. Brilliant. That's fantastic. And so it's her adventure in the garden. But when she sleeps, Dave, the, the evil fairy showed up. And after the good fairies had put gold dust into the garden and all these beautiful flowers came, the evil fairy came and destroyed all the beautiful garden. So it was her journey back to overcoming this evil with this this good that came out of this the good fairies that over <laughs> overcame the evil really oh it's so beautiful yeah it was beautiful and the beauty is my granddaughter is mixed so she has quite dark skin so in the story she has friends um who are different nationalities so we wanted to have a diversity theme throughout so it's always about friendship love family um, going on adventures, overcoming, you know, evil with good. And it's really written, the book really is for preschool, five to, you know, three to seven year olds who Beautiful. really, really love, love the book. Yeah, so that was the first one, Azalea's Magical Garden. And my little granddaughter is the, um, I call her the contributing author. Bravo. We co-created we co the story. Mm -hmm. I asked her about what could happen what do you think would happen if this happened? So she really was the co-contributing author. And um, I was able to use Canva Illustrator and we create, she chose the images and I'd put something in and she'd say, no, Glamma, that's, that's not the right image for that picture. She's five years old, but now she is an author. She was able to take the book to school and her teachers read it to her class. Well done, Grandma and Marie. <laughs> no, this is one of the most uplifting stories I've heard about writing, about Aww. collaboration, about co-creation. <laughs> it gives me goosebumps. Aww. Thank you so very much. It is absolutely wonderful. Wouldn't it be wonderful that somebody who watches this today, they actually are inspired to go and really play with their grandkids to instead yes. of maybe sitting and just watching TV, they go and, and play in the garden. They go and do something creative with their grandkids mm -hmm. and allow their grandkids to teach them something. Exactly. And to sit in that place of humility, to listen and to realize that the picture that she's going to choose is the right one and to let go of that control and to say you know what i probably would have picked this but that is the right one so my question usually now yes. is what advice would you give to new authors <laughs> yes good hmm. question um the advice i would give it let's see um i would 
I would say investigate. So after you've written the book and you've got all, it's all ready to go, investigate how the process works to publish. So I chose, I chose KDP. It was an interesting journey. I did make a couple of little mistakes on the way. No I, didn't, boo -boos. I didn't set the price um, at the right amount to actually make a little bit of profit, mm -hmm. but um, I did a lot of promotion on my own. So I think, I think just investigate all of those pieces and ask, ask lots of really good questions. Also, I did reach out to a few friends, um, teachers, and I just asked them to read it. So make sure that you feel comfortable to step out and get feedback. And there was my brother-in-law who teaches kindergarten. He gave me some great feedback that saved the day for me. Beautiful. So be open. And again, it comes back to that humility. Um, don't hold on to it so tight. Offer it as a gift and be open to let it like a garden, let it grow to what it's supposed to be. Great advice, like a garden, allow it's it true. to grow, nurture, yes. invite it's some people for feedback, uh, test it a little bit. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. If, uh, how can people get a hold of your book? Um, that's a really, <laughs> that's a great question. It is on Amazon. Super. So the books on Amazon, there's now two. There's now a puppy adventure as well. I don't Beautiful. know if you can see that, Dave, on the we camera. Can. Yes, it looks yeah. great. So there's Azalea's puppy adventure and Azalea's magical garden. I do have another one um, where she's going to the zoo and there's a silly monkey that shows up. Um, I do have another one in the works where her brother um, who passed away is going to show up as a superhero in the story. And I have an artist who's going to uh, create his beautiful picture as a superhero. So we have two more books kind of where we're just massaging. That's fantastic. So yeah. right now, like again, I guess I'm, I'm going to ask a technical question because you said yep. you designed it on Canva. Yep. And again, for friends who aren't familiar with Canva, it's a fantastic tool. It's designed by a young lady in Australia who took a project that she was doing a school book year end wow. and she didn't have the resources to do it. So she created this company called Canva and she's worked on it and she's developed this company over the last eight years. And now it's valued at $30 billion with a wow. B. And it's a beautiful platform. I hope you've experienced it's wonderful things with Canva. Incredible. I use it every day. I use it for all my posts and social media. I use it for everything I do with my jewelry that I sell. I use Canva every single day. I did buy the pro. So I would recommend if you're going to use Canva to create your beautiful book with all the beautiful illustrations in the book, I would, and my granddaughter will sign the book for you. Um, I would recommend the pro version because the illustrations in Canva are sensational. Wow, what great sensational. advice. Sensational. Great. I'm going to actually uh, hashtag Canva today it, as we share this so that more people yes. can hear about it. I got a, one of my fun questions to ask you, yeah. uh, Anne-Marie, is if we could get this, the books or books into someone's hand around mm. the world, who would you like to put it out to the universe can get a copy of the books? Wow, what a great question, Dave. The first person who I came to was Mr. Rogers, but he's not with us anymore. Uh, well, <laughs> Mr. Rogers is right here. <laughs> You're Mr. Rogers, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, welcome um, to my neighborhood. Don't yes, you want to be my neighbor? <laughs> exactly. Well, I I would love to get it certainly in um like in kindergarten classrooms or to see my vision is when we wrote it is to see people like a grandmother or a parent sitting together, reading this book together. And I had so many people sending me pictures of that. I was a puddle Beautiful, Dave, to see your vision of yes. people sharing, because I would go to the library, Dave, and sometimes the books were uninspiring they were sometimes difficult to read the writing was over top of the pictures or the story just didn't have a compelling reason to even exist so i was excited that people are loving that there's interaction in the book that there's a pause for reflection there's you ask get asked questions what was your favorite part of the book 
um, the last one I created, I even created a little coloring page at the very end. Beautiful. But I asked them what was the favorite part of the book? Beautiful. And with all the images that were throughout the book. So it's really interactive. And that's what I really wanted. So families coming together. Well, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a, a special little hashtag in the comments here to our friends that I work with in India and in education, mm. in South Africa and education, in Malaysia and education, and a wonderful co-author of my latest book who is in publishing in Australia, who specializes in kids' books. So Beautiful. we'll see what happens from this little interview. And maybe we do plant some seeds today yes. that you might start getting your, your book pictures uh, from around the world. And we'll yes. see if we can create a few more public which again will nurture the next round of flowers right exactly dave that's exactly right no i love happy tears i'm i i leak very often with joy Same here. and uh it's just part of it's just part of life so yeah if we can if we can have happy tears it's a good day <laughs> beautiful well Thank you very much, Emery, for your time today. I'm asking anyone who's seeing this, share with some friends, especially if they're in education. Feel free to ask us a question, subscribe. I'll, I'll put Anne Marie's details in the comments and you can reach out if you check out the books on Amazon. Uh, if you visit Barry, that's where uh, the books are in the library in Barry. Yes. <laughs> and so thank you so very much. Is there one last little message you'd like to share with our, our listeners today as we bring uh, this to a completion? That's a great, uh, that's a great question too, Dave. And I would just suggest <clears throat> there's always a reason why we don't step out in the, it takes courage to step out and maybe you haven't written or maybe you haven't thought of doing it before. Just to take that little step and step through the lie that you can't do something and know that you can. So that would be my message. Beautiful. Thank yeah. you so very much for your time. Congratulations on collaborating with your granddaughter. It really yeah. brings a, a smile to my face and a warmth <laughs> to my heart. And it's really something to be uh, to shared. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so my much. My pleasure.